RuneScape has changed a lot over the last 20 plus years and with every year more old content becomes irrelevant and we forget about it. So I was thinking, what if I'd play every piece of content that was released since the inception of RuneScape on January 4th 2001 in the order it was released, completing all the quests, training all the available skills, slaying all the monsters and acquiring the best in slot gear of the time. I introduce to you Chronological Map Mode. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of Chronological Man Mode. I'm so excited to start this, but before we do, we need to go over some rules and exceptions. I'll try to go over them as quickly as possible. However, if you want a more detailed explanation, you can find one in the description down below and feel free to ask me questions in the comments if things are still unclear. I also want to point out that the more niche exceptions and rules will be talked about when the content that they relate to appears to not make this 10 minutes long and bore you guys to absolute oblivion. So let's get into the rules. First of all, I must complete every single piece of content since the release of RuneScape on January 4th in 2001 in the order that it got released in to be able to move on as long as it is realistic. That means slaying all the monsters, completing all the quests, interacting with all the NPCs, meaning if they have a shop I need to buy the most expensive item out of the shop even if it is not a direct upgrade, do the highest killing challenge and get the best in slot gear. This is where the realistic part kind of applies to because obviously at some point skill case will be released, I'm not going to be going for them because I don't want to lock myself out of this account for months because i need to get 99 rune crafting for example and i want to have fun with this account i want to have an experience from back in the day to now and see everything that changed and teach you guys some of the history and it's not a completionist series i will be going for the best of sort gear but things like dfs but that is a 1 in 32k drop rate i will not be going for however things like bandles obviously i will be going for next up i'll be playing as an iron man and start as an ultimate iron man because if you didn't know at the start of runescape the bank wasn't even a thing you could only only store money within your bank and the bank as we know it wasn't added till July of that same year however I'm allowed to do group content with other Iron Man as long as they mirror my gear a lot of the older bosses are not meant to be soloed like General Grado with the gear that was available when it got released and to not lock myself out of it or just do one kill an hour I am will be allowed to do with other Iron Man obviously I will be putting on loot share because I cannot trade otherwise and I think this is a good middle ground to Yet again, still keep it fun for myself. Obviously, I'll be using Legacy Combat Mode till the release of EOC. Duh, to simulate the old combat style. And lastly, quality of life throughout the years will be allowed as long as they're not game changing. Things like run energy and auto casting, I mean, you cannot even cast spells nowadays without auto casting, will be allowed. However, things like the tool belt or lodestones will not be allowed unless obviously the Lombridge lodestone gets added with the Lombridge home teleport when RuneScape 2 comes out. But those are the main rules, now the exceptions. First of all, mining and smithing rework will be used. I've given this a lot of thought, but kind of with the crazy drop rates as well i don't want to lock myself out of my account to get 99 smithing for rune even though you can now make rune at level 50 it is perfect for me and perfect for the series you could say wait you can get rune from the champions guild but with the reworks over the years i will not have enough quest points to get into the champions guild when rune gets released so i will be utilizing the mining and smithing rework but i will not be using the ore boxes the plus five pickaxes i will not even be able to make a pickaxe because back in the day you were not able to make pickaxes you had to buy them so i will be applying those rules but i will be using the levels of the smithing rework mainly for rune next up quests that are reworked do not have to be completed unless they lock me out of content something like the dorix and borix quests are now mini quests instead of an actual quest with the dorix quest i will not have to complete that unless until they get released into the game however something like demon slayer that has been reworked i have to complete because it will it will be required to do future quests as well and lastly reworked drop tables will be utilized i can't be asked looking up every single drop that something drops and see oh this monster used to drop 20 coins instead of 50 coins so now i need to drop 30 coins that will just be way too confusing and i will just be utilizing the reworked drop tables however i will obviously not be picking up items that have not been released like for example charms i'll not be picking them up because they weren't a thing when i was playing the game so that those are mainly the rules and the exceptions i'm going to be applying as i said there will be more coming up in the future but i'll point them out when they come up and they appear within the gameplay also before we start i want to give a big shout out to jimmy which really inspired me to do this series with his by release but do it obviously broader with everything that had runescape has to offer and i found out as well that slay music one did something similar in the past so shout out to my fellow dutchman as well but without further ado enjoy the first episode 
Oh, I'm such an idiot. I completely forgot to record the app, the intro on me creating character. Anyway, this place doesn't exist, bro. Like, what do you want about? Let, let me get to a place that is actually real. Now, this looks a lot more like the game. Obviously, we started in fixed mode, but um, I think this is uh, the close we can get. So, uh, yeah, we can start the account. This is what my account looks like. Um, it's easy to... <laughs> no, no, no. The, the trim is a bit clapped. I might change that, but... Besides that, I think we can start the account up. Let me drop this bronze dragon, bro. I didn't require this. It's not what I what I did. I will probably have to activate some keys as well, some hot keys. But uh, yeah, let's let's get on our first mission. So you know, this hair color looks a little bit more like what my character usually looks like. Um, I think this is more of me. Also, I scaled up the interface a little bit better for viewer just pleasure so everything is not super small and you can actually see what's going on as well but i think the first order of business is actually getting a weapon from a goblin which i don't know how good a goblin punching will go okay no there are now two goblins on me that's not good okay maybe let's take this one out first okay that one is taken out first um does he drop anything no because i didn't do most of the damage yikes um five hours later maybe Come on, man. Let me let, let me fight my first. Let me take out my first goblin, even though he's rinsing me, bro. Bro, leave me alone, bro. This is a thrilling fight, actually. Um, whatever he drops, I need to make sure that I use to buy a pickaxe. Oh, actually, I can get her a pickaxe. I probably need to make some of my own gear to actually train up some levels. I just realized because the chance of him dropping me an actual weapon is so slim that um. Yeah, it's probably best if we just use whatever to uh, to get some supplies and actually, you know, get going. Bro, he didn't drop anything. What the hell is... What the... Bro! Because when do goblins not even drop bones? I am confused, bro. I am really confused. Yes, I remember correctly. A bronze pickaxe is laying here. Dude, I don't care. I need to turn off tutorial mode. I don't know how I do this, but I will, I will look into it. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's turned off. Remember... We cannot use any, um, we cannot use the tool belt, even though we have a bronze pickaxe on the tool belt, we're obviously not able to use it. So, um, yeah, let's go to this Lombridge mine that did exist back in the day. So let's, um, get some copper and some iron. There is the glowing rock. And that is something I need your guys' opinion on. When I'm mining and smithing, am I allowed to use the glowing rock, seeing as it is a part of the mining and smithing rework, or should I not be doing this? achievement completed nice um i will get some um i'll try to just mine an inventory and get some like basic gear going but yeah let me know what you guys think about the glowing rocks if that's a thing uh that i'm allowed to use according to you guys or that you guys think mm, maybe do don't use it hey there's the first mining level coming in level two mining let's freaking go let's mine the tin ore as well but that's the first level on the account Hey, there is another mining level come. Oh, wait, I already have enough tin. That's three mining coming in. Let's actually do some smithing. We can drop this one because it probably will not sell for anything anyways. Okay, smelt furnace. We want to make some bronze bars. We can make eight of them. Obviously, we're not allowed to use the um, ore bank or metal bank or whatever it's called. But we obviously are allowed to just use the furnace. And we need to find a hammer somewhere, which I don't remember where you can get. Ladies and gentlemen our first upgrade of the account the leather boots oh my god look at the trip now we don't see our sneakers bro i hate it okay so we need some money yay i opened the store cool okay the pickaxe is 50p obviously the money will go into my money pouch there's nothing i can do about it i'll take it out don't worry but obviously when i sell things it will go into my money pouch okay i did not know that pickaxe was 50 gp so what i need from here is a hammer which it does sell Okay, cool. We bought a hammer for 13 GP. Let me take the money out. If you guys know of a way that it doesn't directly go into your money pouch, let me know. Uh, because I want to add that then. But uh, yeah, until then, we just want to use a money pouch. And then we'll take up one inventory slot. So let's actually make some... Um, let's make some gear. So obviously, this is the new mining and smithing rework. So I will have to... I'm not allowed to like make... So for example, if we go to Rune, for example. I'm not allowed to make the plus threes, but I'm allowed to make the base ones. Because that's just regular rune like it was back in the day. Um, I think it is best. Obviously, offhand weapons were not a thing yet. Let me see which one is the most powerful. Well, actually, no. We're making a scimitar. Nostalgia said, bro, if you don't start with a scimitar, are you even playing the game? There is our scimitar made, bro. We look powerful now. That scimitar looks very weird. It looks literally like a poop plate, bro. It, 
Anyway. <laughs> Um, let's make some armor. I think the plate body will always give the most defense. So we're going to go for the plate body, which will take five of our bars. And then we'll just try and make something with one bar. Hey, there is level two smithing. Hey, the rune plate body has been created. However, um, you could say that there was only one body type, but rune plate body was pretty much the body type that was there back in the day so can we make a rune full helm or a rune full helm the bronze full helm no i don't think we can make anything anymore i think i'm just gonna sell this bronze bar and just use it i think this is enough defense for now and we'll we'll go from here with our newly acquired gear i think it's a good idea if we can train our levels up to um level five for everything so that it means attack strength defense obviously i'm not allowed to use shared so i'm gonna do it one at a time also i always thought that these chickens couldn't hit that might be old school runescape but they clearly hit here bro i definitely did <clears throat> i definitely didn't miss uh two um strength but there's three strength uh this goes quite quickly and also i'm picking up the raw chicken because at the moment that is our only training method when it comes to skills there's level four strength i just realized something I need a axe as well on me to be able to cut some trees to actually make a fire to cook these things on because well there's no range near and obviously cooking on a fire is the best thing and I don't even know if there's a range even available. I actually didn't even look into that. I don't know when ranges were added to the game. Hold up, let me just do some quick research. I have everything mapped out, by the way, on the spreadsheet. So if you want to see that, I'll put it in the description down below. It's not like the best spreadsheetable thingy, but it worked for me and that, that, that's what matters. But let me see if ranges were a thing. Okay, I'm safe to use ranges. I will still be getting myself an axe to make it a little bit easier. I know ranges have a better cook rate, but I'm not going to look into what range has been added at what time. I just use the range that are available in the areas that I have unlocked. Also, whilst we're cooking, I think it's now a good time to go over all the skills that we have unlocked. Obviously, we have all the combat skills unlocked. Prayer and magic used to be split up in good prayer and bad prayer and good magic and bad magic. I will just be seeing it as one, of course. Mining and smithing are both unlocked. Woodcutting and fire making are unlocked. And cooking. And actually, crafting as well, which for some reason is not on my spreadsheet. Whilst we get to cooking, uh, although there's not really much to craft anyway. And I'm pretty sure it was called tatering back in the day as well. I didn't want to mention it fully at the start. Because obviously I just did a whole explanation of all the rules and stuff. But when it comes to the areas that are available as well. We have Lumbridge, Barrock, Draenor, Barbarian Village... And, well, I guess Drainer Manor, but Drainer Manor hasn't been opened yet. So those are the areas that are available, and obviously the Lumbridge Swamp as well. And the Wizard's Tower, something like Alcarita isn't available, um, Falador isn't available, uh, everything north of Varrock and east and west of Varrock is not available. I, I mean, I can go to Varrock this way, but that is about it. Whilst we get five strength here, I would like to point out the quests that are available to us as well. Um, we have the Restless Ghost, Cook's Assistant... Sheep Shearer, Romeo and Juliet, which is no longer available, Demon Slayer that's been reworked, and Shield of Araf, which I can now do solo instead of like having to do it together. So we will be going over those quests soon. So whilst we're speaking about quests, thankfully this game um, has a filter on how you can do the uh, quests and how you can do it in order. You can see that certain quests have changed and it is considered still as um 2001 so for example what's mine is yours used to be doric's quest so i'll be doing it that way but obviously the actual doric's quest is doric's and boric's quest i will not be doing it yet again as i said at the beginning i will only be doing these quests um if they really are needed the reworked ones if they're needed for me to pro progress so i will not be rushing them or i will not be prioritizing until later on Although I was really close to no strength level, even though I want to get 5 in all stats, I forgot to switch my experience style. So let me quickly do that. Oh my god, you can just do it in the, in the old school way. That is amazing. Okay, well that, that makes a lot easier. I was like, oh, it's going to be so tedious every time I need to go into the menu to switch it. But no, I could just do it this way. That is beautiful. Hey, there's the first attack level coming in. Level 2 attack. And the Kinoid on the video, individual whilst a plane flies over, which I hopefully you cannot hear in the background um as notice what i forgot to buy last time if you know <laughs> you know yay three attack coming in there is two prayer coming in as well there's a lot of music that's going on oh my god i got 50 total let's freaking go i know you cannot i know you guys cannot hear the um in-game music 
because uh, that will just make it a pain with editing, especially if you want to do something fun with music and stuff. Uh, but I just got some epic music in my ears. Level 4 attack. Also, I need to pick up this super large egg. Obviously, that wasn't a thing within... Wait, I'm not allowed to pick it up. Apparently not. I need to start the quest. Never mind. I was like, oh, I can get prepared for Cook's Assistant. Apparently, I cannot. However, um, obviously, these things have changed, but these are small changes. And, I mean, I'm not going to be nitpicking. As I said, I want to have fun with this account, man. And I'm having a lot of fun slaying chickens. Hey, there's level 5 attack coming in as well which is beautiful at the time that we actually need to go back to lumbridge i nearly wanted to use my home teleport but those didn't exist yet so we need to run back fun fact about cooking by the way for anyone who didn't know whilst we get level three cooking the actual cooking sound effect sounding like this actually comes from the gower brothers mother cooking bacon and then just recording it and adding it to the game i think things like that are so cool about runescape and i mean that sound is still really relevant in runescape obviously it's been reworked over the years but i just think it's so sick man whilst we get level four cooking as well i'm gonna try to get all the available skills to level five i think that's a nice goal dude every time i press the stop record button i get a level so there you go level five cooking I am not forgetting it this time. Let me buy a bronze axe. Where is it? I cannot buy a bronze hatchet. I know you can get it for free up here. I will look up. Wait, you don't? Oh, wait, you do, you do, you do, you do. I will take one bronze hatchet and I will drop. You know what? I will drop all my money for it. I don't know how much it would have costed. I will look. I can look it up, but I will just drop all the money for it. So there goes 56 GP for a bronze hatchet. Okay, we got 27 GP back from actually selling everything we had. It's so annoying I have to withdraw everything. I'm going to start Cook's Assistant whilst we go back to the area where we take out chickens. I think it's good to uh, start Cook's Assistant so we can actually uh, get at the egg. And also on our way there, we will get I will get a bucket and a pot. And I will get I will get some uh, supplies. There we go. There's the bucket and the bucket is downstairs. I will get the supplies to complete this quest. What is wrong? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm a terrible, terrible mess. It's the Duke's birthday today. And I should be making a lovely big birthday cake using special ingredients. But I've forgotten to get the ingredients. I never get them in time. Now he will sack me. Whatever will I do? I have four children and a and a and a goat to look after. Wow, you're looking after messy. That's crazy, bro. Would you help me, please? Yeah, bro, I'll help you. Also, don't expect me to voice act any of the quests. Oh, thanks. You must. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know. I know what to do. I will do space work through it. Um, but don't worry. I'm not going to voice like all the quests, but I just thought it would be funny. Yeah, I decided to sell all my chickens. I do not need them to take out chicken. So I did not make anything from it. Hey, look, it's an area that doesn't exist. Wow, I don't see anything. What's going on, bro? Okay, let's pick up the wheat to be able to put it in the hopper. I don't think you need anything special. I think this is the only one that is actually still like normal, so to say, for this quest. But I might be wrong. We'll find out when we uh, hand everything in. Hmm, I should probably ask the lady first if I can do... Bro, I know what to do, bro. I played this game before. Why? Her name is actually Millie Millie Miller. How do I mill flour? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, can I just put it in or do I need to do something special? Well, what's going on? Should I have read it? Yes. But <laughs> who reads quests, right? You have you, you have Frexus Sub to do that for you. Is that extra fine flour? Yes, okay. It's just quest related. Cool. <laughs> Gilly Groats. What a name. I need some quality milk. Yes, I want quality milk, bro. Come on, give me. Yes! Pull them titties, bro. Wait a minute. Oh, Something got the wrong right. one. This one? Okay, hold up. I need to I need to I need to actually read. Oh, haha. I need I had to go to the price cow. Oh yeah, pull pull them. Pull them! You you're not even doing anything. Oh, there's even a bucket here. Okay, fair enough. Dude, it this this looks so disgusting. I'm I'm really sorry. Like Come, come on, come on, Gemplex. Like, this looks disgusting, bro. Hmm, I know this wasn't a feature back in the day, but hmm, would you be a bot? Oh, would, would you look at that? You are probably a bot. Look at... Yeah, um... <laughs> that is uh, gonna be a uh, big fan thingy, but Bobby, bro. This, th If this isn't a bot, I don't know what is. Macroing or use of bots. No, don't ignore them. There we go. I've done my duty as a citizen of RuneScape, bro. There's a legacy-only world with four... Let me repeat that. Four players, bro. That is hilarious. 
That leaves you like a private world. There is another level coming in. Level 2 defense. Hey, level 3 defense coming in. There's another prayer level coming in as well. Level 3 prayer. Level 4 defense. Hey, that is our first hit points level coming. Well, second. I missed... I might have missed a hit point level, but there, there's level 12 hit points coming. I don't know when I... Did I really miss level 11 hit... Apparently I did. Anyway, there's level 5 defense coming in as well. Which means that we are now combat level 6. Nice. Love that. But hey-ho, let's, uh, let's train strength from now on. Yeah, I was just sitting here, you know, cutting my own business. Cutting down a tree. And, um... Yeah, I forgot that you need a certain item to actually light a log that I do not have. I'm so spoiled with the tool, tool belt on this game, man. There it is, tinderbox. Let's go. Okay, let's light a fire. Let's do it. Light our first fire. Oh yeah, that, I just realized as well, that will be line fire making for me as well in this game. Until uh, bonfires get at it. Yay, clicking. Level 6 cooking coming in. Level 7 cooking coming in hello mr cook we're going to be saving your fine bunda there we go there is cooking completed sardines were not in the game yet so we need to drop them um i don't know why i went down but that's also nine cooking as well so that's beautiful but yeah the sardines have been dropped because they were not a thing in the game because fishing is not a skill it doesn't exist buy some shears which we cannot buy oh wait no 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 we can't what you bro do you think I'm made out of money, bro? We're gonna do sheep share. This one has also been slightly reworked, but in essence, it's still the same quest as it was back in the day. I'm looking for work. Hey, yeah, cool story, bro. I'll take all sorts, I suppose. Oh god. Oh god, I'm selling my body already, bro. It's only like day one. Go, 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 go. I'm not paying you by the hour. Wow. Toxic employee, bro. Like, even employment rights were not. Things never change, bro. Things never changed. Jagex, what is this about, bro? Also, by climbing that obstacle, I do gain agility experience. There are just there. That's just something I cannot do anything about. Obviously, agility wasn't a thing back in the day. That you could just walk into the pen. But there, that's like those are some of the things that I mentioned in the intro that are kind of like little exceptions. They kind of just have to be made for progression because otherwise, I cannot do sheep shear because I cannot climb over because agility is not a thing and. As I said, I want to have fun. I research most of the things, but I also want to do some things blind to actually have some fun. But yeah, th that's something that I meant with like exceptions that will come up that there's nothing I can do about. But actually, this is one of the few actual crafting methods that I have available to me. I didn't even notice it, but um, I got 500 GP, I assume, from uh, Cook's assistant. Because I didn't take it out. I'll be dropping it because that is not a thing back in the day. And I'll be picking up my regular money which is my 175 GP. Um, that's actually quite nice now that it's actually split because I know that 175 is actually the money that I have and the 500 GP is something I did not have. Um, so in that sense, it's, it's a nice way to split the money and to keep at it. But let's complete this quest. Yo, Fred, I have the balls of wool for you. Yes, yes, yes. You will pay me as well. Wow, you give me 2K. Bro, that's insane. Okay, I got crafting experience as well, which is now level 3, which is beautiful. Um, I will actually uh, train crafting all the way up to 5 from now on, which will just be by shearing sheep and doing them. But yeah, the 2k I obviously will be dropping because that wasn't a reward back in the day. You know, it's actually mental to think about that. This used to be the only crafting method back in the day. So if you wanted to train the skill up, you had to get your balls of wool made and shear these sheep. Oh, look, I really appreciate it. There are two ramps in here, right? And a lot of sheep. My guys are doing well for themselves. <laughs> Yikes, this is so painful. It's like 60 experience, just over 60 experience a run. So next one we will get a level. But I think after that we need to do two more runs. Let me let me drop these coins, right? Oh, I could so use that money. Hey, level seven. Shrink, yeah, whilst I'm here, I just sometimes misclick the ramps and take them out. So... Obviously, I get experience from them as well, which is not bad. But there was actually someone else here. Remember how there were like five people in this world? I found one of the five. How? <laughs> Four. Crafting. Yeah, gonna take a little while. How many trips do we need to do after this? Oh, uh, I think we're actually one trip short, which is really awkward. <gasps> Yo. Oh my 
Oh my, that is literally the best drop that I could have gotten. Like, no cap. Because I was just thinking, I need to go to Varrock to get a staff. Oh, this changes everything. Okay, because I wanted to go into Varrock in the next episode, but this means we can train mate. We still are locked out of range, but yo, that is huge. The, another strength level coming in, boss is grinding out. Level 8 strength. Well, that took long. This is already one of the more, uh, I don't want to say painful grinds, but like, it was already a little bit of a challenge, but there it is. Five crafting coming in. As I said, I want to get everything to level five, and I will be able to get everything to level five besides range, because I cannot get range supplies here, and I want to keep Varrock for the next episode. Again, when it comes to magic, um, I need a staff to autocast anyway. I would have gotten an air staff anyway, because it existed. Back in the day, they didn't give you unlimited air runes until later on. However, yet again, drop tables. I got it off an updated drop table, so I'm going to use it. So I just wanted to give you guys that. So, but let's get five um, magic, but also get my prayer up level five and see if we can get some good drops. For example, here I can get a charge bow, which obviously can allow me to train range. However, that wasn't an item back in the day, so I won't be able to use it. Same with the tiny bronze salvages which would have been some bronze armor back in the day, question mark? I actually don't know. First level of magic coming in at level two magic. Level three magic coming in. Level four magic. Also coming in with 75 overall total. There's level five magic coming in as well. Ooh, bronze arrows. Okay, that is a very, very good drop. If we can get a bow, actually... Let me see if I can get a short bow somewhere here, because if so, that could make it so that we can actually train magic. But I want to use airstrike because that's the only thing I can use game. There is a level four prayer coming in. Also, just a heads up, in the next episode, I will be going over all the skill challenges that I need to do. Right now, my goals are just to get level five in everything and we'll go from there. But next episode, I will explain to you what the goals are for every single skill and what the um, required level will be, of course. Well, as I press stop recording, there's level uh, 6 magic coming in. Goblin mail. Can I wear it? Oh no, the armor is too small for a human. I want to wear it, bro. It looks so weird in this game. Level 7 magic coming in. And I believe that if I bury these bones, I should get another prayer level. No, I do not. <laughs> prayer clip coming in in two seconds. Yay, level 5 prayer as well. So we're going to do wood cutting. And fire making next, and then only mining and smithing will be left. Oh, don't already have mining. Hold up, let me find my mouse. Uh, no, I don't have them yet, but that will mean level five in those as well. And I'm gonna see if I can find a short bow somewhere in Lumbridge. Also, when it comes to taking out each monster in this area, let me uh, let me just add one to the list real quick. There we go. There is level two wood cutting coming in. Level three. Level four will cut in. There's level 5 wood cutting coming in. We'll probably get level like level 7 fire maybe because fire main goes so super quick. But um, yeah, let's uh, let light on fire. And keep in mind, we can only fire make in like a row and not in a um, bonfire. But I will be using right click light because that's the quality of life I will allow myself to use. If you can even light the fire, the, the, the dumb wit, bro. <laughs> that's the longest fire lit I've ever seen in my life level two fire making level three level four fire making level five fire making level six i think we're just off to get level seven i predicted that we'll probably get level seven fire making from this but uh, that might have been a little bit too much but um hey yeah we got that uh, like six and a half that's not too bad let's actually sell some things okay so we need to make some inventory space so we can actually go um train our mining level so i will just be selling Everything that you see here, including the bronze scimitar. Because if I'm going to be honest, I can just make a new one. So um, yeah, I'll be selling everything to clear out my inventory. And we will just have one or well, two items because obviously we will have to pick as well. But um, I think that is a uh, I think this will be a good inventory to start mining and smithing and get that to level five as well. Hey, there's level four mining coming in. And there is five mining coming in. I don't know if this will be enough to get five smithing. I do not know. I don't think so. Because uh, mining was already ahead. And smithing is only level two. We will probably be making blade bodies. Because they get the most experience. Because most bars. But 
I don't think this will be enough. And I think we need to go back to the mines one more time after this to get level 5 smithing. But we will see. Also, I obviously need to destroy these because I cannot get those because they don't exist in Classic. There's actually another NPC that I need to get off the list of... Uh, NPCs that I need to take out, which is the giant rat, which is now off the list. Dirty rat, you dirty rat. Okay, well, we, we took out the giant rat. We're gonna uh, move on now. But yeah, that's one ticked off. And also we need to take out a person here. I was afraid that there were no men and women anymore in um, in Varrock to actually fight. But there were. There it is. They are all taken out. I'm pretty sure that would make all the um, NPCs that I can take out in Lombridge that have been there in Classic. Okay, that is a rune kite shield made, which I wanted to... Uh, I'm making a um, full helm as well and a plate legs as well, which also gives me three smithing. And after that, I think I have enough bars for, for sure for another rune plate body, which I can sell to the shop for money. And dude, this armor look... I always thought that bronze looked okay. <laughs> this rework didn't do it justice, honestly. It doesn't look great. But hey -o, it is what it is. We, um, we have some armor, which is nice. Bro, we look like an absolute champion. Like, honestly, we look like an absolute champion. I know I cannot wear my staff, which is fine, I guess, because I think we should be good on inventory space for the next trip. But um, yeah, we're going to make a play body and go from there. Hey, there is level four smithing. Yeah, one more inventory mining. We should be more than fine with smithing. And we also will make some money off it, which is beautiful. Actually, if I make a kite shield later on, that would probably be better. So I made a nice 188 GP. There is level 6 mining coming in. Level 7. Oh, I was going to say level 8 mining, but that was level 7 mining. I don't want the geodes. Leave me alone. Oh, no, that an actual bronze longsword. It's 2 damage more than, an, than a scimitar. Longsword OP, bro. Confirmed, confirmed. Nerf the longswords in this game. But yeah, this will be more than enough to level up. So I'm going to make another play buddy to make some money. There is level 5 smithing. Making it all level 5 besides range, I am free to go to Varrock anytime I want. I'm not locked out of it, but I kind of just want to save the journey to Varrock and journeying out of Lombridge and completing everything in Lombridge that's available to me first before moving on. But um, yeah, I will, uh, I'll explain more in the outro because, outro because we still have some things to make. But we made our overpowered longsword because it does, well, apparently one more damage. And it, I, wait, hold on, hold on, okay. Oh, wait, no, it does two more damage. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Oh, well, we got another level being six smithing whilst we run to the shopkeeper to actually sell what we need to sell. We need to sell, well, we don't need the hammer anymore. We don't need the bronze bar. We don't need the pickaxe for now. We don't need the plate legs and we don't need the plate body because we already have those. We equip those and we grab these from the pouch and we're very close to 1000 GP. Thank you guys so much for this first episode. I am having so much fun. You have no idea. I really, 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 really want to continue on playing this. Like, it is such an exciting account to play. I hope it is fun for you guys to watch. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Definitely give it a like. Next episode, we will make it out of Lombridge. We'll go to Varrock. We're going to do Restless Ghost. We're going to complete all the quests that we can be completing. We're going to train even more skills. And I will be going over every skill challenge that I need to be completing for every single skill that is available to me to be able to move on and what gear I need to get, which is adamant gear, which will be a while. But yeah, those are the things that will be happening in next episode, which will be next Saturday. I'll be uploading this every single Saturday at 4 p.m. European Central Time, by the way. So um, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy it. Definitely leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new every single week. Let's go. Love this series. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.